Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy, and this is going to be my 80,000 subscriber special setup tour from my new living arrangement. It is the first setup tour from here. Uh, much awaited, long awaited, I should say. And uh, yeah, I actually have both of my monitors mounted. That's the biggest thing. I've never done that before. Is it overrated? I don't know, sort of. Um, I get to fit my Rocket Jump Ninja um, little card from when I bought his mouse. Speaking of that, first giveaway of this video, my old Zyze Rail. A bit creaky, nowhere near as creaky as the new one. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a giveaway. Just comment RJN and then I'll just roll a random winner. But yeah, I mentioned the monitor. This is the Acer 390 Hertz. This is some fucking $30 Amazon monitor mount. Seems good enough though. And my secondary monitor, 240 Hertz. So really an elite monitor setup. I don't see how I can improve it. Uh, the mic setup is exactly the same as it used to be. Cloud Lifter, Scarlett 2i2, then the Electro Voice RE20. I want to splurge on a $1,300 Neumann mic because all of my vids sound the same. I don't like that. Um, so I'll change that. This mic stand, it's just so bad, but I've been using it for a year, so I might as well keep it. The keyboard, nice, the RGB changed, whatever. This is the Wooting 2HE. I actually stopped using the Apex Pro. I never thought it would happen, but I do think that this is a better keyboard just overall. People always ask me about the pills that they see. This is caffeine, it's alpha GPC, and this is a multivitamin. That's really all I take on a daily basis. Clorox use that to wipe off all of the dust. This is the cleanest this setup has ever looked. I just have this custom keyboard lying on top of this printer. I don't know what to do. Sound test, sound test, smash the like button. Um, that's definitely what I could do with it. This is where I store my mouse pads. These are literally all artisan mouse pads. I think the Lethal Gaming Gear Saturn review soon. Um, but yeah, those are the artisan pads. And then these are other pads. Oh, did I just break a mouse pad NDA? Oh! What are you going to do? Sue me? Possibly. From this angle, this looks really fucking ghetto, but it is an efficient way to store mice just on this rack. Because it was mounted on the wall when I moved here, but look how fucking uneven that is. Speaking of these walls, they are quite blank, um, so I need to put something on them. Uh, these just mouse boxes, got my swag lights, um, exciting stuff. This is the Steelcase Leap V2. It's an expensive chair. I got mine for only around $450 in basically new condition. Very solid. Um, onto the mouse, the most important part of the setup, the super light. Um, I had been maining the star lights, but I don't know. Um, I just switched to the super light, mainly because I got these glass skates. So I'm going to review those soon. But yeah, just I don't know. If you haven't tried a super light yet, what are you doing with your mouse drink? Um, other than that, I don't really use any mice for fun. This is some garbage. Ah, no, no, not garbage. Fantech Go XD5. Yeah, review soon. Um, who's hyped? MM731. I have zero clue why this is still on the desk. Just doxed my school. Nobody would have noticed unless I pointed it out. Um, little New York City square rectangle. My main mouse pad recently is the Wine Red Hayate Atsu Mid, not a Wine Red He, and if you can't tell the difference, you are racist. Um, it's a new pad from Artisan. I've been testing it, liking it a lot. Artisan doesn't really disappoint with mouse pads. And these are the rest of my mouse pads. They're just in this bag that a pillow came in. Surprisingly, a really good way to store non-XL mouse pads. For the headphones, I recently bought Focal Clears. These are $1,000 headphones. I bought them used for $800 from Huddled. Um, I don't think they're worth it. I might buy the uh, new Biodynamic shit. I'm still using a shit stack to power it. I should have something more powerful. I just don't really care about headphones. Um, camera setup, the same as it has been, $20 ring light. If you buy anything more, you're just wasting money. And a Panasonic 4K camcorder, it once again, not the best, but you don't need the best to produce the best content. If there's one thing you can take away from this video, it should be that. So yeah, I think that about covers everything on the desk and the perimeter of this room. My PC is still the same. I need to upgrade it. It's just the NZXT streamer PC, really probably most average part of my setup. 
PlayStation 4 on the ground, no reason not to, and then fiber internet, holy shit. If you're on Spectrum, I feel bad for you. This has changed my life. No joke, the first time I did a speed test, I started bawling. I was on the floor in a fetal position crying because of how good this internet is. Um, but yeah, that's all for the 19 year old $250,000 working from home slash online education slash gaming slash mouse reviewing setup. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And of course, there are giveaways. And before I explain how this massive giveaway is going to work, I just want to say thank you guys for continuing to subscribe. It's honestly wild. I never expected to get this many subs. No, it sounds generic, but just wanted to say it. Um, but yeah, so giving away the MZ1, like I said, comment RJN, um, the XM1 RGB, crazy, MM731, I couldn't return to Amazon because I ripped the box open, it's a big ticket item right there, the bloody A70, the number one drag clicking Minecraft mouse, two Ponage Ultra Custom Symmetricals that I've tried to give away maybe three times in the past. Nobody claims them. I'm This one is first come, first serve. Type black Ponage and you will get it, buddy. That's the only way to make sure people claim it. And then two Ninjutsu Origin 1Xs, basically unopened. They were retail units sent out. I don't even know when. That doesn't matter. What does matter is that you comment mouse in the comment section. I'm gonna randomly pick the winners. I will announce it in a YouTube community post and in my Discord server. So the maximum amount of people who want to see if they won will see it. Hopefully all of these don't go unclaimed, um, but they probably will, it's whatever. Um, yeah, I'll pick the winner when I hit 85K. Um, so in 5,000 subscribers time, it's the worst unit of time ever. Um, but yeah, that's really all for this video. I did try to get a few companies to provide products for the giveaway. It unfortunately did not work out well, so boycott all of these companies. I'm just kidding, of course. But yeah, that's going to be all. I'll try to work some magic with mouse pads. I'll update the pinned, ma pinned comment if I can find any mouse pad companies who will give away a few pads. Um, but yeah, enter the giveaway. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, hope you enjoy the updated setup tour. Peace.